Here you go, babies. Follow me. Dinner time. It. Eat up! You've got to grow big and strong! What in the world? I only fed him the same amount as the others! I better get Tiny Turtle! Tiny Turtle! Tiny Turtle! You must come quick! Something, uh, peculiar is happening. I wonder what that was all about. Why did Ezra just barge into my room and tell me to come quick? Okay, I guess it's... I, he's acting like it's a really big deal. It's probably not. <laughs> he, he likes to uh, exaggerate a little bit, guys, I've noticed. But uh, we'll go down and see what's happening anyway. Um, but welcome back! Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Dragons today. It is gonna be fun. I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing yet, but I suppose we'll start with this, see what's up with Ezra, and then we can continue. Maybe we can finish this wall. Um, we did a lot of work on the entrance, which is great. That is kind of a little bit, like, pathetic now that I look at it. Like, we've got this big, massive entrance, and then that's our meeting hall. Imagine being another nation and coming here. And seeing that, and then, that's where we sit and meet. So, we're definitely going to need a good meeting hall. Uh, Ezra's probably over here somewhere. Ooh, looks like he's done a bit of work. Oh, there he is. Look at that. that oh, is that like a feeding station or something? Okay, let's let's go in. Please have my wings. I do. Nice. Okay, this is looking good. Ezra's slowly going to fill up in here, which is great, because it means less work for me to do. But I wonder what it is that he's... Uh, He's talking about his little seat down by the lake is really nice, mate. I should have one. I think I need one. Wait, what is? Whoa, what happened? How is Pyro so big? What? Is... What's going on here? All the dragons are just having some food. He just kind of started growing. I fed him the exact same amount as the others. Well, there's got to be some sort of explanation, Ezra. I mean, look at the size of him. He's only, he's only like three days old and he's already pretty big i mean i don't know where the other dragons are at the minute you probably have them somewhere but like he should still be this size how come he's this size and he's this size i don't understand he's still eating you did feed them the same yeah it's all fish there must be some sort of explanation do you have any idea ezra i've heard of an old tale it speaks of a giant night fury somewhere in the jungle protected by a tribe who worship it it sleeps for years on end and wakes up for years then after. A giant knife fury? Protected by a tribe? That seems like an old legend or something. It doesn't really seem true, Ezra. Uh, but I suppose uh, we don't really have any other options to go on really now. There must be something behind the story. So maybe we could, uh, we could go to this place and see if there's anything there. Maybe just some old books or something or... If there is a tribe somewhere, maybe we could ask them a few questions. Uh, do you have any idea where it is or how will we get there? I can bring us to the jungle. I'm not sure if it's anything but stories, but we could find out something that explains the sudden growth spurt. All right, it's worth a shot, but uh, where are all the dragons? And I mean, who? Okay, what dragon will I fly on if they're not here? Okay, well, I guess you can fly on Pyro now. He should be strong enough. No way. Oh, that's going to be so fun. Hey, Pyro, are, are you able to take my weight? <gasps> oh, this is so cool. Wow, you're fast. You are so fast, Pyro. And this kind of explains a bit of the uh, prophecy as well. I mean, if this guy's going to be huge, then it makes sense that he's able to like take down towns and stuff. But all right, Ezra, grab your dragon wherever it is. Let's get moving. I'll follow you. Wow! 
beautiful night, Fury. Please, come see our leader. Okay, guys, so I told him to go on ahead because I just wanted to have a little look around. I mean, look at this place. It's so cool. Is that a... Oh, that's a Night Fury banner. Oh, it's all overgrown. Hang on, let me get it out of there. That is so cool. They obviously really like the Night Furies. Imagine living up in the trees like this. This is pretty cool. And the place is huge. I mean, they've really uh, expanded out a lot. Look at this. Ooh, that must be where I meant to go. Okay, I better get going because the rest of them are already gone. I think our dragons are going to come up and meet us. Um, That could be the main place over there. But no, it looks like it's that, that big one. So that's where I need to go if I can find my way around. Oh, no. Well, that's not very good architecture. I'll fix that for them. Okay, can we go that way? No, we got to go this way. This place is kind of a maze as well. Ooh, I like it. Check me out. It's kind of scary, though, being up this high all the time. I mean, where's all the dragons? Wow. Another one. I mean, ah, uh, nothing. What a beautiful night fury you have. How old is he? Well, that's the funny thing. He's actually only three days old. And look at the size of him. I mean, there's a normal night fury. He's like half the size in three days, which is insane. His brothers and sisters are still tiny. They're still like a, a third of his size. He's just growing so fast. We, we really don't know what it is. And uh, we don't know why it's happening. That's kind of why we came here. As I suspected. Okay, you deserve to know what you are dealing with. Follow me. fully grown giant night fury. It seems yours is a giant night fury too. He will be just as big if not bigger judging by his size and age. They sleep for years on end. They need somewhere warm and dark to hibernate. We found this one malnourished and unhealthy. They eat a lot and if they can't find enough food they will surely perish. We are not sure how many there are left so we must look after them well. It's... 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 It's so big! Look at the length of its wing! Oh my gosh, guys, I cannot believe this. I didn't know stuff like this existed. Wow! Oh, I'm so small! I'm, I'm, I'm not even as tall as its foot. Look at those claws! Sleeps for years? This is crazy. Have you ever seen any any night fairies as big as this? And apparently mine will be as big, if not bigger, Pyro will be? That's just insane. I like I can't believe it. And whoa! Did he just he just move? Wow! She has been asleep for four years. This is a momentous occasion. It must have sensed another of its kind. Let's let them get acquainted. We must feast. I have to thank you so much for your hospitality, but we can't actually stick around to feast, although the food does look very good, but we need to get going. We've got lots and lots of dragons to care for, and we've been away for uh, long enough now. But thank you so much for the information. It is going to help me out so, so much. I mean, you've seen. 
I've got a big dragon gonna be on my hands. So I need to go and prepare for that. You know, get some food stocked up, get an area where he can be safe. And yeah, thank you so much. You guys truly do love the Night Fury dragons and you have been very, very good to them. So thank you. All right. I need to go back down and get this guy now. But guys, I'm gonna head back to our nation. This is insane. We got the info we needed. We know he is a giant Night Fury. There's not many of them alive, but it makes sense. I mean, the prophecy, everything, it seems to all be coming together, but the one thing we've got to do is make sure we train him well, because if he's going to be that big and that powerful, if he's not trained, he is going to be able to destroy anything he wants to destroy. So I got to go down and get him, and let's head back to the nation, see where Ezra is as well. Ezra was around here somewhere, having a look. I mean, look at these little houses. It's so cool. It's very, uh, very safe as well. If someone's walking around down on the ground, I mean, you've... Oh, dead end. You've, um, you've got a lot of protection being up here. And especially if you just fly on dragons, you never really have to go down to the ground. Which is really, really cool. There's some more banners. Uh, can I go down again? I can. Nice. Ah, there it is. It's kind of like a runway now, actually, isn't it? <laughs> it's pretty cool, but... Yeah, Pyro may be strong enough now to carry me, but he's still not as fast as the other Knife Furies. So, uh, Ezra's probably back ages ago. But he is quite fast, though. Like, look how fast he is for his edge. Which is pretty cool. Ooh, what's going on here? Oh, it looks like Ezra's training all the dragons. Okay, Pyro, you gotta go for training. I'll line you up with the rest. Make sure you behave. You need training more than anyone all right so you be good and you do what ezra says okay ezra i won't bother you look how many night furies we have now this is crazy i mean i bet you i could name them all we don't have names for these ones but we've got dark light stardust econ we got the two alphas we got frost we got pyro we got night light and light night they're about over there still yeah this is crazy it's so cool looking though you know what i might go and just chill out in Ezra's chair. Let's see if it's a nice spot to sit down and just relax. I bet you it is. Yeah, look at this. Chill out. Feeling good. Looking over the lake. I could deal with this. You know, Ezra could go get me a, a little uh, fruit juice or something and I can chill out. Where's the sun? Well, it's not too sunny today, but it is a nice day. Uh, you know what? We have too much to do. Guys, I've got to get working on an area for Pyro. He's going to be that big i mean this is a nice big space in here but they said they do like to hibernate for years underground i don't know when that starts so i guess i'll need an underground place as well so what i'm thinking maybe is into uh into the mountain maybe we could do a big cave here that would be pretty cool so we could have like an area here that overlooks all the knife furies and then a big cave so we can go into his cave if it ever comes to the time where he needs to hibernate. So I suppose I'll try and uh, hollow that out a bit now and see what it looks like, guys, because I have no idea what size he's even going to get to. I mean, that last Night Fury was huge, and the tribes person said he could be even bigger. So I think I'm going to do like a big whoa, maybe just like all in the middle there. Let's give it a go, and I'll see what it looks like. Well, that took a while, but check it out, guys. I think it looks really cool. I think it looks pretty scary, a bit ominous, but I think it is awesome as well. I, I just need to get some light in here. We get some like uh, hanging down lights, like some glowstone or something. That'd be pretty nice. But and we'll smoothen it out a bit, make it a bit nicer. Maybe put some water down here somewhere. I did block up the waterfalls that were coming down because they were kind of in the way. I'll show you guys what I mean. I kind of built little dams, you see, that holds the water and that holds the water. So it makes sense. So I, I think it, it should fit. I mean, if Pyro does grow that big, I don't know. I, I don't know if he will. But if he does, at least we're ready. Because that is a huge cave. I mean, I could probably give, um, cut out this and make this all his area then. Just from there, up to the wall, around and down. Then maybe we could put a huge gate there. So Pyro can get in and out to his Night Fury friends because just because he's going to be bigger 
doesn't mean he won't want to go in and play with all of his Night Fury friends. So that is, uh, that's definitely the plan. But this is huge. Really is. What else, guys? Leave it in the comments. What else do we need for a giant Night Fury cave? I mean, water. We're going to need some lights. Uh, maybe a way to close it. Should that be a thing? Should I put a big... Ooh, I could do a big... If he does sleep for years, this is. I could put tons and tons of gravel up there on a line of something. And then when it, he does go into sleep, I could like blow up underneath it and all the gravel would fall and block the door. So that he's in there, he's asleep and we can uh, we can like maybe put some staircase in and something that we can walk around. Yeah, I think it definitely needs access for us because you never know when he's going to wake up. So maybe let's have a look up here. Yeah, right here. Let's do a mini little uh, a mini little entrance for us to go in, like they had over at the tribe. And then we will be sorted for the Night Fury, which is great. We still have to figure out um, Shard and the Deathclaw. Uh, the Stormcutters are probably off hunting again. It seems like all the dragons went off hunting at the same time, which isn't good for our nation. I mean, it was left pretty defenseless. Although, if there's no dragons here and there's no people here, there's not really much to defend anyway. So that's okay. I do want to work on my house soon as well and work on the meeting house. So we have lots to do, guys. But I'm going to get working on that. Um, I want to go see how the baby be wildebeest is as well. We'll, we'll go check on him tomorrow and make sure he's uh, getting fed enough. I know Ezra was looking after him. It's so good having Ezra here. He does a lot of work for the place. So that is great. Maybe we could get Ezra... I don't know, maybe a nice tiny turtle hoodie or something like that. But something nice anyway. But guys, that's it. I'm going to leave it there. Hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> we need a new plan. We were unprepared for all those bewilderments. The tiny turtle's nation. He has a stronger nation than we thought. We will need the screaming death. <laughs>